Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do a video that was kind of unplanned, but I thought it would be interesting to share with you guys. Um, I want to talk about the struggles of being a black content creator, influencer, YouTuber, um, living in Australia. And I wanted to talk about this because I've been doing YouTube for about 10, 10 years. Yeah, about 10 years. I think I started in 20, 10, 11, 9 or 10 years. So yeah, that's a super long time. Um, I was doing YouTube when YouTube was a beautiful space for, you know, black people to connect all over the world and it was a positive space and it wasn't about, you know, making videos to go viral and it wasn't all about subscribers and followers and all that kind of stuff that YouTube has become today because it is very much a business. And honestly, I miss that time because it was such a nice uh, space to be in. For me being, you know, um, a young black woman at the time and to be able to connect with, you know, other black women around the world, um, it really gave me a sense of sisterhood. Um, so I really, really enjoyed it. I definitely miss those days. In this day and age, YouTube is not as warm and friendly and as inviting and I'm honestly still doing it because I know there are some of you who've literally been following me since day one um, when I had really bad camera quality um, you know when I got engaged like you guys have followed me through my journey and I know most of you care about me um, and what I'm doing and what's going on with my life and honestly that's why I'm doing it because honestly if I was doing it solely for the purpose of you know getting followers I would have quit a long time ago because yeah the followers are definitely not in the hundreds of thousands but you know we move Okay, so I'm going to talk about some of the issues that I've personally faced um, being a black YouTuber in Australia. And honestly, these are my thoughts, my views, and from my experience. Um, so you don't have to agree with me, but I'm just sharing what it's been like for me. Okay, so like I said, in no particular order, um, the first thing that pops to mind is, um, for me, the issue that I've had um, throughout my whole YouTube journey um, has been that most of my subscribers are on the other side of the world. So I'm in Australia in the southern hemisphere most of my subscribers are in the northern hemisphere um, a lot of my subscribers are from the US the UK Ghana uh, Canada um, and Europe so it can make it really really hard first of all you know uploading at the right time to get the most engagement because for example if it's evening in Ghana it's kind of still afternoon in the US and it's like early morning here so um, that can be a challenge um, and then the other biggest challenge with having most of my subscribers um, on the other side of the world is where fashion and fashion trends are concerned like for example right now it is winter in Australia we are in the heart of winter um, our winters are obviously not as cold as you know some of you guys experience on the other side of the world but it definitely does get cold for what we know um, especially where I am the wind chill is super super cold because it comes straight from Antarctica so yeah, it gets cold. As you can see, I'm wearing a long sleeve because yeah, it is a cold day. So having, you know, most of my subscribers on the other side of the world where I know right now you guys are in summer, it makes it hard to do like videos that are fashion related because, you know, if I'm doing a winter haul, it's not really relevant to you guys because you're in summer. Um, and if I'm doing a summer haul, it's not relevant because you're in winter. So it makes it hard to pick, you know, pieces when I do hauls um, so you know for the most part I just pick what I want I don't necessarily shop um, for the season I shop based on what I need at the time or what I think I will need in the future um, sometimes I buy stuff ahead of the season because I know I'll need it you know in the upcoming season so that's kind of how I shop so yeah that's definitely one of the difficulties of being a black content creator or youtuber in Australia when your followers are on the other side of the world Okay, so the next point I probably want to make is the fact that there aren't a lot of uh, black content creators 
um, who do beauty and fashion on the YouTube space here in Australia. So it makes it really hard to connect with, you know, other black content creators in Australia. You know, especially if you want to do collaborations and that kind of stuff, which, you know, in times gone, um, collaborations were really, really a big thing. The collaborations that I've done in the past um, have been with content creators on the other side of the world. I don't think I've ever collaborated with a black beauty fashion content creator here in Australia. And that's because there are not a lot, you know, in this space. Um, you know, YouTube content creating, you know, is not a big thing in Australia from what I know. Um, I mean, yes, there are a handful of really popular Australian YouTubers. Most of them are white um, and I know some are Asian, but in terms of like black, African, you know, there's no one who's on that level um, apart from um, Nikki Thought, but she's more of a lifestyle and vlogging channel but you know content creators who are solely about beauty and fashion there aren't a lot i can probably count five on my hand that i know um so that's another issue because you know sometimes you do want to collaborate with other creators um especially if you're a creative you feed off that interaction with other like-minded people so yeah that's definitely a challenge okay so the next point i want to make is you know youtube is not as huge here as it is, you know, in the US and the UK where people have built careers solely from doing YouTube. Not that it doesn't happen here, but it's still something where, you know, when you tell someone, oh, you know, I have a YouTube channel, it's like, oh, wow, that's really fascinating, you know, because it's not, it's not every other person that does YouTube here. So for that reason, I feel like brands here are not really, you know, into it like, a lot of the brands are overseas, especially in the US, the UK, they're doing, you know, big campaigns and collaborations, you know, with influencers and cre content creators and, and YouTubers. So, um, you know, we definitely see what goes on overseas. And a lot of those brands, because they are based overseas, they're not as likely, you know, to work with, you know, Australian content creators. I've, you know, emailed brands and said, you know, I would love to work with you, blah, blah, blah. Um, I'm in Australia and I think I've got an audience that would be interested in your brand or your product. Um, and yeah, they just haven't responded or, you know, sorry, we can't collaborate at this time. And honestly, I feel like it's got to do with geographic location. And then the other issue is, Australian brands here, like diversity and inclusivity is just pretty much non-existent. I mean, a lot of really popular Australian brands, fashion brands, beauty brands, they hardly have any black people or people of color in any of their campaigns, you know, on their Instagram feeds. Like it's slowly trickling in now, especially with the Black Lives Matter movement. But black people like myself are not the people they're reaching out to when they're doing a marketing campaign or anything like that. So yeah, that's definitely, you know, a challenge because, you know, when you feel like a brand doesn't care to include people who look like yourself, um, yeah, it's very discouraging and you know, it's a real turn off as well, you know, wanting to even work with those brands. So for that reason, I would love to work with, you know, a lot of overseas brands. But then, you know, the content creator, influencer, how do I put it? That whole situation is so much bigger, you know, overseas that, you know, they have the influencers and the creators that they will reach out to and that they can work with because there's so many for them to pick from, um, you know, why would they come and pick someone um, from Australia? You, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, you know, it's a real challenge. It's very discouraging at times. So as things are happening now with the whole inclusivity and including black people and people of color with a lot of these brands, um, you know, maybe it'll change moving forward. And I know here in Australia, brands are being called out for their lack of um, diversity. So yeah, hopefully in the future it changes um, and it won't be such a bizarre idea for a brand to choose a black person to be in a campaign or to collaborate with or to feature um, on their website, on their Instagram feed or whatever. Okay, so another thing I can think of, and I think I mentioned this in a previous video about the frustrations of living in Australia or something like that, and that is there are no beauty supply stores really 
in Australia. Like beauty supply stores are not a big thing here. I mean, you can go to some African um, areas where they'll have an African shop and you can buy hair. But in a lot of the cases, they don't have a lot of the stuff that you're looking for because, you know, when you're here and you're watching a lot of YouTubers from the US and the UK, you know, you want to try some of the stuff that they're trying when it comes to hair. And you guys know I love hair. Um, so I definitely like watch a video. I'm like, oh, I really want to try that style. Like you can't get it from your local beauty supply store. So you have to order it online. And in a lot of cases, it's so expensive that it's not even affordable. You know, something that you guys are paying $2 a pack for, we're paying $10 for here. Like, for example, you know, the braiding hair, the big jumbo braiding hair, um, you guys can get it for, yeah, maybe two, three bucks a pack. We're paying like $10, $12 a pack. You know, so if you're braiding your hair and you need five packs, you know, do the math. And then, you know, ordering online, you know, shipping in a lot of cases is more expensive than the item that you're buying. So there's definitely frustrations and challenges with that. And probably the last thing that I want to mention, and it kind of like continues on from something I said earlier, and that is that, you know, there's not a huge watching audience of people who watch, you know, beauty and fashion type channels here in Australia. Like I said, most of my viewers are from overseas. So um, the challenge there is, you know, the people who are watching me also have so many other YouTubers to watch who are, you know, local or they, they're, in, they're from their country or, you know, they're in their city. You know, they have a lot of those people to watch. Whereas here in Australia, because, you know, black, uh, beauty, fashion, like I said, YouTubers are not big in number. I mean, yeah, they may come across your channel and be like, hey, oh, another, you know, black uh, Australian, you know, African YouTuber. It's exciting. But, you know, we're few and far between. There's a bigger selection for them to watch, you know, of YouTubers who do the same thing in the US, um, UK, Europe, uh, Africa. And, you know, a lot of people here will watch YouTubers from other countries because, you know, it's a lot more exciting. So yeah, that's another challenge in that, you know, um, Australian audiences are most likely watching, uh, you know, foreign uh, YouTubers. But yeah, guys, that's what I can think of, you know, off the top of my head. Um, I'll probably think of some more once I stop recording. Let me know if you're an Australian, you know, YouTuber, if you do fashion and beauty and you've you know, experience some of these challenges or if you're just a YouTuber in general and maybe what some of the challenges you face where you are in the world, you know, I'm sure we all have something that is a challenge in terms of being a creator, being a YouTuber, being, you know, an influencer, which I don't really like using for myself. I don't think I'm an influencer, but anyway, um, you know, you can throw those words together when you're talking about this. So yeah, guys, let's talk down in the comments section. Um, thank you so much for watching guys. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please do if you like my channel. Um, and also give me a thumbs up if you like these types of videos. It helps me. Um, and don't forget to also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. Thank you so much for joining me again guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!